How can jumping rope boost your endurance? Endurance means different things to different people. For some, endurance is being able to climb mountains or run marathons. But for others, it's the ability to get to the end of the working day not feeling totally exhausted. In reality, endurance can be broken down into two physical and one mental component. If you want to become inexhaustible, you need a little or a lot of all three. Cardiovascular endurance. This is all about the ability to take in and transport oxygen to your muscles, so you keep them supplied with lots of the stuff they need to keep working. While you can operate without oxygen, you cannot do so for long. Try holding your breath to see. Most human activities rely on oxygen, so the more efficient you are at getting oxygen into your working muscles, the longer you will be able to continue with your chosen activity. Muscular Endurance Getting oxygen into your muscles is only part of the equation. You also have to be able to put it to good use, and that is down to your muscles. You have two main types of muscle fibres in your body, slow twitch and fast twitch. Fast twitch fibres are great for developing lots of force, but fatigue very quickly. Slow twitch fibres, on the other hand, are not so strong, but are very good at keeping on working for a long time. While the type of fibres you have the most of is dictated by genetics, the right kind of training can also improve your fibres ability to perform well. That means that, if you want to improve your endurance, you have to challenge your muscles' ability to work for extended periods of time, and that means low exercise loads and extended workout durations. Mental Endurance Mental toughness, pain tolerance, determination, grit, concentration, single-mindedness. Call it what you will, but endurance is at least part mental as well as physical. Sometimes you have to just will yourself on through the fatigue and discomfort to keep on keeping on. Some people have tremendous mental endurance, while others need to develop it. Thankfully, endurance training usually develops an endurance mindset. So, what exercises are best for developing endurance? Good question! Anything that involves prolonged effort will develop your endurance, so long as, next time you work out, you try and go a little further or a little faster. Progression is key. Of all the activities you can use for developing your endurance, jumping rope is one of the best. Why? It's simple, accessible, can be done just about anywhere and anytime, it's easy to learn, requires concentration, works many major muscles simultaneously and is safe to do so for extended periods of time. You can easily adjust your exercise workload to reflect your current level of fitness and, finally, if jumping rope is good enough for boxers, amongst the fittest athletes on the planet, it'll work for you. Jumping rope is an awesome way to develop your endurance, especially if you need general endurance rather than, say, running specific endurance. If you are a runner, then you have to run, but if you simply want to develop a good level of all-round endurance, jumping rope is hard to beat. Just because jumping rope looks easy doesn't mean it is. After a few minutes you'll feel your legs working, your shoulders warming up and your heart and breathing rate begin to climb. Don't slow down though, it's time to start exercising your brain as well as your muscles and that means gritting your teeth and pushing on despite feeling tired. So, how can jumping rope boost your endurance? The answer is, very well indeed. Thank you.